We all know that research helps make our transportation system better. But in the early stages of research, especially when that research involves technology development, how do we determine when a research solution is ready to help us solve a transportation challenge? When should it go from the lab to field testing? And when is it ready for full implementation agency-wide? Knowing the answer to these questions across the life of a project or research area is key to managing an effective research program. This video will examine an evaluation process called Technology Readiness Level, also known as the TRL scale. Using this assessment tool throughout the life of a research project can help us in a lot of vital ways. Following, we will see the benchmarks for each TRL. The first three levels of the scale cover the basic research stage, including work that strives to understand concepts and principles that could lead to a method or approach to solve a problem. Understanding electricity came before the battery, the light bulb, and the electric car could come along. The chemical properties of soil and the physical properties of different aggregates before modern paved roadways could improve. Researchers working in levels one and two are seeking completely new ideas, knowledge and understanding of something observed in the physical, biological or social world. Today's transportation agencies do not often conduct or fund basic research in the early stages, but it's important to check that the project is grounded in sound science and a well thought out application. Some projects or tasks at level three will provide a proof of concept with the end goal of pointing to the evidence that the idea is feasible. The proof of concept presents a strong case that the project's technology, process, device, or program has legs. It addresses a transportation need innovatively and looks highly likely to succeed with further research. The next scale category is applied research, where basic research is proven out as practical in a controlled lab environment. Individual components of a system or technology are extensively tested, component compatibility is demonstrated, and individual functions are tested. Next, integrated components are demonstrated in a fully controlled environment. All internal and external system interfaces are documented with minimum and target operational requirements developed. The development stage levels six through eight is where the rubber meets the road, sometimes literally. Testing is usually scaled up and made as realistic as possible, often including real-world usage. At level six, researchers demonstrate limited system prototype testing in a realistic and relevant environment. It's important to check that when confronted with a real-world problem, the prototype still satisfies all operational requirements. At level seven, the prototype demonstration ramps up and widens to a fully operational environment. As the user community is consistently confronted with more real world conditions, all interfaces should be tested under stressed and unusual conditions. TRL-8 is the key step which makes the end point for research. We have fully proven the idea and developed it so it will work in the real world. Initial pilots begin to expand to larger deployments as users and the public continue to provide feedback. Some testing and refinements may continue at this level through one or a few projects on actual public TxDOT roads in use. How-to documentation training and outreach information are all published and disseminated. 
A technology or product is considered implemented at level nine when it's proven and refined enough that it's deployed across its operational environment. Getting from eight to nine often involves widespread field trials across multiple districts on real world projects. The dual purpose of proving it across all of Texas, from Amarillo to Brownsville, from Del Rio to Beaumont, and getting more of TxDOT familiar and comfortable with using the technology through expanded training and outreach. It also usually includes getting the field proven research published in standard TxDOT or AASHTO specifications. The technology has become a standard solution used across the industry. Where is your project on the TRL scale? Knowing the answer to that helps us all know where the project is in its journey toward a ranking of nine and what steps it will take to get to that full implementation. Please refer to the one-page document that accompanies this video, Assessing Your TRL Project, and let us know, what's your number?